Okay, so I'm attempting something new today. I'm going to do a video and try to cook at the same time. Bear with me. Uh, a couple people asked about the uh, chili oil that I made. So I'm going to try to make that. So I've already got the setup. These are the ingredients that you're going to need. I'll make a list of, you know, actual stuff. So you don't have to try to hurry up and fast forward and figure out what all of this is. Um, that's the stuff already ready to go. Okay, so let's see. All right, so this is what we're going to start with first. I have all of these in here. And I have a little skillet on the stove. I'm going to put a... Uh, medium high heat on it and you know I was raised by old black women so you know I know you're looking for measurements right now you kind of just pour until the spirit tell you to stop but there is one cinnamon stick in here it is cinnamon stick clove uh, peppercorn and some um, sesame seeds and I couldn't find star anise, so I'm using some anise seeds. You just want to put that in there and let that kind of cook up for about five minutes until your house is nice and aromatic. While that's cooking and getting quite fragrant, you want to cut up your green onions, which I have done this thus. And you want to add them to your uh, jar that you're going to make this in. And you don't cook these. You just put them in as is. All right. Now, in some recipes, you use actual chilies that you can put in the food processor and ground up to make, um, to make chili flakes. But I'm just going to use... Red pepper flakes, because we like heat in this house, but we don't like to burn. We old, and, you know, burning the first time is one thing. Burning twice is just a little too much. So, everything on the skillet is starting to come to life. You can hear it. You can see its smokiness. So, I'm going to turn the fire off and set this aside to let that kind of chill and do its own thing. And I'm going to add the red pepper flakes. And again, cooking with the hand of love. You just go until you feel comfortable. And I'm going to add a little chili powder again just for that after kick not because I'm trying to burn the house down and by house I mean my mouth all right so we got those mixed in give all of that a little shaky shake All right, at this point, you'd be chopping your um, chopping your vegetables and stuff. But again, I've already taken care of that. For this next step, I'm using two cups of a neutral oil. Um, I'm using vegetable oil. You can use avocado oil, peanut oil. I would suggest not using olive oil. You want something with a uh, high smoke tolerance. And olive oil will just burn because you want to get... These oils up to 300. Also, I suggest using two pans as well as this because you're going to be shifting back and forth a little bit and it's just easier this way. Um, so, you need two cups of the oil. Pouring that in here. And I'm going to put that on a medium-high heat 
until it gets to be about 315 degrees. All right, we are at 320 now. So our first thing we're gonna add are our shallots. Oops, no, that's that shallots. Turn the heat down a little bit. And we're gonna let those cook for three to five minutes, you know, depending on where your heat is. You want them to get nice and brown. All right, it's been about three minutes. You can already see there's a nice browning effect going on here. A nice sizzle. I have them pretty much where I want them. So. I'm going to take the strainer and put it on my second pot. And then I'm going to take this. And pour this in here and try to do this with one hand without making a huge mess. going to move the strainer and the pot back on the heat and all these lovely charlottes are going to go in the bottle but I cannot do that with one hand all right I got the shallots in there and now I am put the Fire back on the heat. Put the fire back on the heat. Put the oil back on the heat. And you see we're waiting again. This time we're going to take it up to about 300. And then we are going to add the garlic. And we're going to give that like two to three minutes because this brown's much easier, much quicker. All right, it's been about three minutes. And it looks like our garlic is about done. So we're going to do the exact same thing that we did before. Strainer on, pot, and then just pour it through. Now, you can try to time all three of these things together and try to do them. One takes about five minutes. One takes about three minutes. The ginger is only going to take a minute to do. But I like to give each one its own individual time. So I'm going to do the ginger next. All right. While we wait for the oil to come back to temperature, I'm going to add the spices over here to the bottle. Again, have to use two hands for that, but wanted you to know it's time to do that now. I've got the ginger in there. The ginger literally only takes a minute. That's, that's as long as it needs to be in there. So while that is doing that, I am going to add a couple of teaspoons of Holston sauce to the bottle because I have everything else in there. And the next thing to go in there will be the ginger and the oil. And I'll just pour all that in together. All right, I got my hose in there. And now I'm going to add the oil with the ginger in it. And we're going to get a reaction. And now, because we don't send our food out unseasoned, I'm going to do a teaspoon of salt, 
I saw a recipe that said you could add MSG also, but I don't have any, so I use salt. And I use about a tablespoon of soy sauce. And then you can just take your spoon and kind of mix that around. And I wish you could smell it because it smells wonderful. And that is it. That is the oil. And you can use this right away. But I have a little left over from my last batch. So I shan't be using that. I should be using the little bit that's left in here for dinner tonight. And we're just going to put this to the side to let it cool off. And that's it. I will include all of the ingredients in the form of the email or, you know, video, however I put this up. All right. This was uncomfortable, but I might do it again. Thank you. Bye.